Don't worry, I won't fall. I'm used to driving my wheelchair super fast. Just like you, when I was born, everything seemed fine. I was happy and healthy and learned to talk and walk. All good. But when I was six years old, I got diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. It is a severe condition that slowly breaks down my muscles. And there is no cure yet. What would you do if you got such bad news? You know what I did? Well, not much. I was just six. My parents were super sad, of course, because just like any parents, they wanted to give me the best life possible. They then decided to move to Dubai. With me, of course. The warm weather here is also good for my muscles. I didn't notice much difference from other children. I could still walk, climb, and run. So I continued to live my life normally. Do you know what I love more than anything? Football. A few years ago, I was on the school's football team. It was loads of fun. I scored once, and we even came second in that year's school tournament. But my muscles started breaking down. At first, I noticed I fell more often. It hurt, but it was okay because I would just get back up. But one day I fell and I couldn't get up from the floor anymore. That was weird because the day before I still could. Then the stairs became difficult. I couldn't go up anymore, so I had to sleep downstairs. Another change. Until two years ago, the biggest change happened. I wanted to stand up from my chair, but noticed my legs wouldn't hold me anymore. I couldn't stand at all. Plan A was over. Running, walking, and even standing was not possible anymore. The worst part was that that meant no more football. I was sad about that, but couldn't change it. Very quickly, I just, I quickly, I just accepted the fact that I couldn't walk anymore and left my old life behind. That's where my plan B comes in. Plan B starts with accepting the fact that plan A is over, no matter how painful that is. I hope you won't lose your legs, but you too can face difficulties. Life can throw many challenges at you. Some might hit you in the face and some might knock you out. So how do we get back in the game? My superpower is that I radically accept every time I can't do something anymore. Instead of focusing on what I lost, I focus on what I still can do. I'm grateful and try to make the most of my life. I study in a great school, I have fantastic friends, and a wheelchair which driving is actually cool. My life is good and it got even better when my parents found a caregiver for me. He is a great person and has become my best friend. He is also a big football fan, so we share that passion together. Obviously, I can't play football anymore, but that doesn't mean I can't be part of the school football team. I am still part of the school football team as an assistant coach. Do you want to know the best surprise of my plan B? The World Cup in Qatar. I had dreamt of attending a football competition for a very long time. My parents organized a road trip to Doha, the capital of Qatar, so we could attend a few matches in the stadiums. Thanks to my mom, who shared my story on social media, a very nice man from the FIFA contacted her. When we arrived at the stadium for our first match, I'll never forget what happened. A lady from the FIFA told us to follow her, and she brought us to the tunnel where the players come out from. The players were right in front of me and looked at me with a smile. What happened next was incredible. One of my favorite football players, Kylian Mbappe, came towards me. He said hi and we even took a picture together. That picture, as you can see on the screen, is still on the wall in my room. The next day, something even crazier happened. I was on the pitch when they sang the national anthem. You see, life is full of surprises. Some are good and some are bad. We cannot let the bad surprises knock us off the field. You should accept what you can't change and just get back up. And if you can't get back up like me, 
Get back up mentally. Keep going. Laugh, enjoy, and let life surprise you. You'll never know how great plan B can be if you keep hanging on to plan A. Life is short. Let's make it unforgettable. Thank you.